what's up, what's going on, 100 subs, or pretty close, so if we're at 98 or 99, just hit the button for me, leave a comment, say you're number 100, I'll throw some digital confetti, uh, otherwise, just want to do some shout outs real quick for all these channels that we interact with, and yeah, uh, I don't think I would have gotten this many subscriptions just by myself, so I, I definitely owe a bit to these people, at least introducing me into their algorithms. Um, yeah, this is the order you guys showed up in. I just went through the comments and, and wrote, wrote the creators' names down. If you guys are commenters, um, super appreciate you guys. There's a couple of you that really come through with like awesome comments. And if you have any kind of opinion on books, I really suggest that you make one of these channels. Because especially if you have a different opinion on books and you're, you look or sound or think different than these other, other booktube channels, maybe you have something that other people will be interested in. Consider making a channel. It ain't gonna be pretty at first, whatever. We don't care. Uh, but yeah, let's get right into it. Tom from McNulty's Book Corral. It's like the the OG of this thing. I think I was watching his channel before I was even in, I don't even think I knew what booktube was, I think I, maybe I was looking for writing advice or something, I'm not sure how I found his channel, but it was quite a while ago, and yeah, he's, he's always been really kind, so, McNulty's Book Corral, definitely check that one out, check all these out, Omnivorous Reader, uh, she's in Australia, she does lots of book reviews, uh, for mostly, like, older, science fiction books, um, but she, she'll read, like, she'll read anything, lots of aquatic things, which is cool, that's, like, her, her theme, um, uh, Book Graveyard, go check that one out, lots of great pulp, always, always cool titles, always fun, but at least fun covers to look at, I don't know, some of the stories in there might not be so good, but lots of great covers, and his name is Nick, so, what's not to like? Reading ideas across the pond. Lots of good. He finds lots of good books, and I like his opinions. Kevin Tall reads. He's just a nice guy. Seems like a nice guy, right? He's not just a nice guy. He has good reviews. He's very busy. He's very active. Tons of um, like popular fiction. He reads so many series. If you haven't seen it, go check out his Why You Should Read series. Those are pretty cool. And I think he, he does the character deep dives. I might steal those from you. I might have to might have to do some Why You Should Reads. or char I, th I think I like the character deep dive. We'll see. Uh, James over at Little Big Library. He's got little Bella. He's got a sunflower. He's doing his reviews faceless these days. Like faceless reviews. But I don't think I saw you comment in any of my videos faceless reviews. But yeah, if you guys are thinking of doing a um, a booktube channel, you're nervous about showing your ugly mug. Faceless reviews does it without his face. And I'm sure it, he probably looks better than this. So think about that. You could try that out. Uh, Ricky's Rock and Reviews. He's a nice guy. I like I like his reading style, and he's very um, pleasant. He's very pleasant. I need that. <laughs> and Austin over at Outer World Media. Austin, dude, the guy's been. If you look at all his videos, this dude has been killing it the whole time. Killing it the whole time. Make sure you go follow Austin. Make sure you go um, watch his... He has an interview with the author of the Longmire series. Uh, what's his name? Craig Johnson. That's pretty cool, man. That's really cool. Uh, hopefully one day I could do something like that. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, definitely... He need, that channel needs way more love, guys. Go over Outer World Media. Austin from Texas. 
I don't think he's from Austin, Texas, but he's Austin from Texas. Go check out the channel. Uh, lots of great commenters. You guys leave cool comments all the time. I really appreciate it. I hope you, I hope that's reflected in my responses. Um, but yeah, like I said, as of shooting this, I'm at 98 subs, so 99 and 100. We're looking for you. Comment below when you subscribe. All right, I'm gonna flip this around and just show off some books because that's what we do when we don't have anything else to do. All right, this thing always needs to be cleaned. There we go. There we go. All right. Up here, Soho Crimes. You guys got any of these? I don't even really read them. I, th I just started collecting them because they looked nice together. What a dummy. I'll figure out what to do with them. I got some stuff that I just threw up on top. Here's some hardcovers. Kind of cool. William Golding, this is the writer for Lord of the Flies. I haven't read this, it's about building a church. I really want to read this one. Railroad Folklore. Some westerns. Lots of these. CJ Fox, Lonesome Dove. You need a copy of this, right? If you're going to be on BookTube. I haven't read it, but I got my copy. A commonplace book. James was showing he's got one. This one's nice and empty. I like to use index cards for most of my stuff. I'm going to throw them away when I'm done. Yeah. More just like general western stuff. My Louis L'Amour collection. Of course, we're double stacked back there. Some non-fiction western. Edgar Rice Burroughs. I need to sort all this, huh? Some Dostoevsky. Ooh. You guys like um, audiobooks? This is one of the best audiobooks I've ever heard, to be honest. It's so cool because of all the, the slang in it. I would check it out. SF. This is cool. I want to read this. Conan. Got a lot of, got a lot of reading to do, huh? I got all these red wall books down here. And in the back as well. Nonfiction, there's my hard case crimes. And more hard covers. Got a bit of Silverberg. I never read that author either. Ah, next time I'll show you my mass markets. And I got this shelf behind me, but. Enough is enough, right? It's early. I need my coffee still. Find something to read. Find somewhere to hide. It's going to be hot today. Peace.